Hello, this video includes information on molecular structures and acid base strength. So now let's look at strengths of acids based on their molecular structure. When we look at binary acids, okay, remember that binary acids have hydrogen as their positive ion, and they have some monatomic anion for their negative ion. So there's only two types of atoms that are in there. When we talk about the acid strength of a binary acid, the strength increases as the bond strength decreases. Now think about that. When we talk about the strength of an acid, the stronger the acid, the more of it ionizes. Well, the weaker the bond, the more it can ionize. So that makes sense. So if we were to look at group 17, if we were to look at the halogens and the um, order of increasing acidity matches up with the order of decreasing bond strength and bond strength decreases as we go down a group. So as we go down a group, generally speaking, the strength of the acid increases. Now think about this for a second. Hydrochloric, hydrobromic, and hydroiodic acid are all strong acids. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. So it makes sense that you know the weak acid is at the top and the acids get stronger as we go down. As we go across a period, the bond strength decreases, so the acid strength increases. If we wanted to talk about the strongest acids, the strongest acids are going to be the farthest to the right and the farthest to the bottom. So bottom right are the strongest acids. Bases are the reverse. So the strongest bases are the weakest acids. And they would be the farthest to the left and the farthest to the top. So the strongest base would be at the top. The strongest acid would be at the bottom. So when we look at bond strength, Okay, we've got, you know, whatever X is bonded to hydrogen. This is the bond. Now, in order to um, talk about the strength of the bond, we're talking about, uh, or the strength of the acid, we're talking about the ability to break this bond. The easier this bond can be broken, the stronger the acid is. So let's just look at this table, generally speaking. Okay, we've got hydrofluoric, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic acid. BE stands for bond energy. Okay, how much energy is required to break that bond? As we go down the group, the bond energy decreases. Well, if we look at the Ka value, and really we just have to look at the exponent, the Ka value is increasing. And the larger the Ka value, the stronger the base, or sorry, the stronger the acid. So the stronger the bond, the weaker the acid, the weaker the bond, the stronger the acid. Okay, when we look at polarities, as we increase the bond polarity, we increase the strength of the acid. So if we were to look, the electronegativity difference is decreasing when we go from chlorine to bromine to iodine to carbon, which means that the bonds are becoming more polar, sorry, less polar. And as the bonds become less polar, the acid becomes weaker. Let's look at this as an example. We have this molecule, okay? E is something, 
might be bonded to other things, but we've got E, we've got a bond to oxygen, and we have a bond to hydrogen. Well, what determines whether this bond breaks, releasing a hydrogen, which means it's an acid, or this bond breaks and we release a hydroxide and it's a base? Well, it depends on what E is. If E is a metal, okay, something on the left-hand side of the periodic table, this bond breaks. And if this bond breaks, hydroxide is given off and it's a base. But if E is a non-metal, something on the right side of the periodic table, then bond B here breaks and we're looking at a structure that's an acid. When we look at molecules, oftentimes, the, especially the oxy acids, we can change the number of oxygens in the oxy acid, which changes the oxidation state. If we were to look at nitrous acid, this is nitrite, and then we've got our hydrogen linked on, so this is nitrous acid. This is nitrite, NO, or sorry, nitrate. This is NO3 bonded to a hydrogen. So this is nitric acid. Nitric acid is a stronger acid than nitrous acid. Okay, if we were to look at sulfurous acid, okay, um, SO3 is sulfite. And we have our two hydrogens on here to make H2SO3. This is sulfurous acid. This is SO4. This is sulfate bonded to two hydrogens. So this is sulfuric acid. The more oxygens we have, the more acidic the solution is. So nitric acid and sulfuric acid are strong acids. Nitrous acid and sulfurous acid are weak acids.